welcome to episode 6 of the Youth Squad Legends series with AFC Wimbledon. I'm not really bothered about staying in any cup competition. It's all about survival for me this season. But let's be real here. Even if I put the first team out, I'd probably still get whipped. AFC Wimbledon against Forest Green. This team is in desperate need of help. I don't know where it's coming from. Most of these players will be on the scrap heap. We're not seeing that many sparks in the team. Which is great to a point because I really do want a relegation scrap. Start from the bottom. There's a through ball. Ellis is going to reach it eventually. Really terrible first touch. Landry Limbo! Oh, he's hit the ball with that effort. Not bad. I mean, we could try and get a third round place. Third round is obviously where the Championship and Premier League clubs come into the FA Cup. That's over. Over. Rory Hood. I don't know if he let that go over or just prayed. The referee has stopped the game. Limbo's not getting up. This seems quite serious and one of our most promising players. Looks like he's going to be out for a while. Sevan will come on a right wing. I'll actually swap them around. So Holland right wing, Sevan left wing. Really horrible news about Landry Limbaugh. Carbiard, that's, that's loose. You could have been seriously injured yourself. Moscow is on the wing and he's trying to drive forward. What a lad. In. Oh, Ellis made a run to the front post. But it didn't lock on. Hang on, why did it switch me to that guy? He played everybody on side then, whoa. They're going short. Charge, oh, charge. We have the ball. We can't clear it. We have the ball again. We have now cleared it. Has anyone else played any on pro clubs, yeah? These players that I've got right now make the default players in pro clubs look good. Oh dear, oh dear. Careful, careful. Please don't lose it in your own box. Boys! Rory Hood catches. There's a spark. There's a player that should be in the first team. Hughes is a good player. Watch the guy in the middle. Well done, Badger. Well done. Run away from danger. Meredith Ellis. Come on. Richard Bax is making a run, but Meredith Ellis' touch is heavy. Play him centrally. There we go. Now he's going to the winger. I just can't concentrate like this for the entire recording session. <laughs> Together we can do this. Meredith Ellis, chest control. We've lost it again. Defend. It's prime Melville time, but do I risk playing Melville in the FA Cup? We've seen what happened to Landry Limba. We're going to make this team a winning one if it kills me. Please help me, boys. <laughs> Merit. Oh, your first touch is atrocious. What an absolute weapon. <laughs> okay, maybe Ellis off for Melville. This could be a long shot coming in. No. All of that work. I think we'd all agree that we'd much rather get the win in the league. That's the most important thing. That's the thing that we need to concentrate on. Why is Durante wearing a coat? Valentin Carbiar across the midfield. Baxter really needs to start shifting. Richard Baxter. R still Richard ba Still Richard Baxter. Please, someone show for me. Go, Baxter. There's running room. Oh, you let Melville have to go through like four players before you make a significant run. Oh, keep it in. Cook. Yes, Reuben Cook. That's what I like. Reuben Cook is so much better as a centre back than a left back. Out. We are out of the FA Cup. AFC Wimbledon nil. Forest Green Rovers one. We had one shot and it was off target. Let's compare that result to the one that we played earlier in the season against Forest Green. So Landry Limbo is out for seven months. Anterior cruciate ligament injury. We are not catching a break here. This is the look of a relegated side. We lost 2-0 last time out, so there's slight improvement. Standings looking like this. After 19 played, we have 16 points. Only one point ahead of bottom place, Crow Alexandra. Cambridge United against AFC Wimbledon. Beckett. Nah, you see, Calamore Flannery is useless. Eric Melville with room ahead of him. Eric Melville! Oh! They only need one chance. I'm telling you. And if at any point that scoreline says Cambridge 1, Wimbledon 0, oh, we'll be ruined. Oh, get back! Defend! Keep everything organized. Oh, Flannery! Make yourself useful and sprint, my friend! Sprint! 
Sprint like you've never sprint before. Sprint, sprinted, sprint. Tell you what, Leighton Adams is way too narrow in this system. He needs to be wide. They're really wide, but they need to be wide, like properly there. Tackle, Amolo. I'm on it today. I've had some good rest. Yes, save Limpendry pushes it away so close. We're talking super close to that Cambridge United forward. Melville. Oh, I was going to take it with Melville then, but the referee has whistled for half time. Hit it, hit it, hit it, Leighton Adams. Amolo, bang it. Oh! No, Melville, you've got to come close and you've got to help me out. Support, my friend, support. Don't get caught out. Don't do it. Vekic, what a lad. Get running. Oh, Flannery, run. Do what you do best, which, which is be terrible. No, oh, he's sprinting like this. Oh, Calamo Flannery. Calamo Flannery's gone past two. Somehow put the ball in. Here we go. No. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that is Melville turning up at left back. Whoa, work rate. Better by Leighton Adams in this second half. Wimbledon making Cambridge look like mugs. It's two against one at that back post. Oh, Molo, you monster. Yes, Jew won. This is more like it. This is the Wimbledon team that I wanted to see. We are festering in the heads. Yes. Spatman's chasing shadows. David Tully's appeared at right back. Crosses in. Oh, first touch was... Perfect, but Spantman's got in the way. Not a great clearance, but it's still well done by Spantman. That's what pain feels like. Wind taken out of our sails. Full time. Cambridge United won. Wimbledon nil. I'm not angry. Get that result out of your head. We go again! AFC Wimbledon are now bottom of the league. AFC Wimbledon against Morecambe. You know, in real football, losing 1 0 to a goal like that is actually better than conceding a really scrappy one. Here it's so different, because if we conceded a scrappy goal, chances are we could blame someone, but we couldn't blame anybody there. They all put in a really decent shift. Trying to work it into the box. Are Morecambe going to be successful, or are they going to just run into a brick wall? Beckett! It's just two lines of four defending. Like, them wingers are not wingers. They're just wing... Oh! We've not been the luckiest team in the world. AJ Leach Smith opens the scoring. It's incredibly demoralizing. Meet him with force, big save, Lynn Pendry. Charge at him! Save! Lynn Pendry flying all over the place. Catch Lynn Pendry. Carry on. Don't want a foul, don't want to hear it. Eric Melville takes the ball. It's great control by Eric Melville. Help me! No, it's not happening. I can't get through. Ellis, your first touch is worse than anything I've ever seen. Probably making that up. Really? I've seen some really terrible things in my life. No, no. Is he? He can't be onside. That's a great save. Lynn Pendry. Brilliant stuff. Be careful, you don't want just a molo at the back. Could open up some severe issues. Oh, Lynn Pendry! A molo's got caught out. It's three against one. Got Beckich at the front post. Oh, what can you do? You position your centre back as well as that, and instead of going flashing it across goal, they just drag it back to the penalty spot. Sean Miller. Morecambe are taking three points from this one. A few episodes into this series, I was like, the defence needs to step up because we are scoring goals. I think it's the other way around now. We're playing a little bit better, and we just need to get the tiniest amount of luck. This might be why we're having problems. The fast build-up, when in fight, we really need to be playing possession. I'm a little bit more confident. The tactics change could make all the difference. Michaelsfield against AFC Wimbledon. Sure, fast build-up has its place, but it's definitely not for me. It's more for players that have, like, really quick, really strong, really big forwards that they can launch it up to. Man coming short all the time now. This is more like it. That's where we want Ellis to be. David Tully! Better Wimbledon! Better! The Mezio Moscow is not needed because the ball came straight... Oh, dear me, that header had some power behind it. Probably took Limpendry a little bit by surprise. Scoring goals is another thing entirely, but with more of the ball, there's less chance of Macclesfield breaking us down. Last action of the game. It's slightly away. Macclesfield don't have the chance. 
Wimbledon have a point. We need to figure out how to score. Well, there we are, boys. If you want a really, really difficult career mode experience, play on fast build-up. Taking a look at that Cheltenham backline, this is the moment where the attack needs to turn up. This is where we get the win. This is where we get a goal. Even Melville's under scrutiny now. Oh, Flannery, run! Oh, he's very good at that. He's very good at that. Play the ball inside. Bang! Oh. Melville into the box. Oh, Flannery! No doubt this playstyle is better, but with possession, we kind of erased the only way we knew how to score beforehand, and that was on the counter attack. Ball comes in, it's fizzed. Oh, no. Oh, get alive! Seriously! Oh, we've really, really messed it up today, haven't we? Well, in keeper, or not. I believe Ruben Reed has got a second goal for Cheltenham. This team is making me feel sick. Sick to my stomach. Well done, Tim Cena, class. I'm going to side with my defenders. For the last few months, they've had it so rough. But they've played their hearts out today. And this attack, this gutless attack, couldn't even produce one goal. Buzz, brief luck. Plus three to jump in. We are going to send out our three scouts. And they're going to find us attackers. Nothing else. Just attackers. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for hanging on to the end of this episode, especially. It must have been very, very tough watching. If for some strange reason you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then there's a big red box down below. And press the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time. When hopefully we can score a goal.